Um, my name is Audie Lee. Um, I work for Red Hat, obviously, and um, I work with the Barbican project. Um, I'm also part of the security team, um, the OpenStack security team at Red Hat. Um, and so what that means is that we work on so security related issues uh, with um, triple O deployments and so on. In the Okata cycle, what did you all get done? <laughs> That's a good question. Um, so uh, the security team uh, specifically has um, the goal uh, which is to get uh, all of the connections between the different services on the off cloud and the under cloud uh, to be protected using TLS. Um, right now if you imagine you know open you know, OpenStack, the OpenStack is sort of a really hard on the outside and really soft and chewy on the inside um, and um, because in general security is typically the last thing that people think about right uh, which makes sense people want to get things working and then they want to figure out how to make it secure afterwards um, usually hopefully before you go to production um, but what that means is that um, uh, on the inside once you get into that inside layer um, the assumption is that everything trusts you and everything else um, all the connections between say Nova and Sendum and all of these things are all unencrypted uh, there's no TLS involved in any of that kind of thing um, and so as a security group we and, and of course things like connections to the database database transactions and so on are all unencrypted and so you can see all kinds of uh, bad stuff over there so what you uh, what the encrypt security team is trying to do is just trying to set things up so that you can have TLS connections between any of the different things and services and in order to do that you have to have certificates um, and you have to have a, a, some sort of management system in order to be able to manage the certificates see what happens when they get renewed and, and so on and so forth. Um, so one of the organizations I'm involved in, in Red Hat is the uh, identity management team um, and the identity management team has a product called Free IPA which does or identity management um, which handles things like giving servers identities and providing them um, you know, some sort of keystone credential, some sort of credential um, like a, a Cobra's credential and so on. Um, and in the Okada cycle, what we uh, developed was a uh, Nova microservice um, that would be called um, when a server is started up, it's called Nova Join. Um, and what that microservice would do when that instance comes up and uh, the process goes through to go ahead and get the, the metadata um, is it would contact an IPA server and it would register the system with IPA um, and then that, at that point and it would provide a, a one-time token, a one-time password in there which the service could then use to register with IPA and then become an IPA client. Um, and then, once it's an IPA client, it has all kinds of goodness because at that point it can retrieve key tabs, um, you can create services, and, and in fact, what's, what, what it'll do, NovaJoin will create a bunch of different services um, and key tabs for those services, and so all of those can be retrieved. Um, and then at that point, you then, once you have those key tabs, you can then create get certificates. Um, and as a client, we, there's a process called CertMonger that's on there. And SSSD and both of those deal with certificate management um, so that when your certificate is about to expire or close to expiring um, it can go ahead and um, uh, go to the IPA so retrieve the new certificate and populate that within, within and, and then everything should be seamlessly started up again right uh, so if Mongo can actually run some scripts after that that will restart your services with the new certificate um, or potentially could notify an operator so that an operator uh, could know your certificate is going to expire in a couple of months or you know, 30 days, but we've renewed the certificate, the new certificate's there at your leisure. Please go restart the service so that, you know, things we can continue. Um, so that's what we've been working on. So within the Okada cycle, we um, have been working on getting NovaJoin in. Um, it didn't quite make OSP uh, 11, but it did make um, uh, Okada, or at least you know, part of that. Um, so that's that's done and that's in Okada, or is that something that will be in Pike? It will be in Pike. Okay. It will definitely be in Pike. Yeah. So a lot of it is already in Okada, but it's not complete. Um, it will be in Pike with all the testing and, and all that goodness that needs to be there.
Now this week, you're planning what comes next. What have you discussed so far? So we're, I'm here in the Balbican meetings, um, and uh, you know, our involvement in the Balbican is um, at the back of Balbican, you, Balbican's the service that's basically just all secrets. Um, and, but of course the secrets, how securely you store the secrets depends on the secret store, whatever's in the back end. Um, uh, so you can either store secrets in a database that's encrypted with a file that is just has a key that's you know, that basically the key is stored in plain text in a file, right? That's the most simple way of doing things. It's better than nothing, but it's not much better than nothing. Um, uh, and that's the development plugin that's there. And then on the Red Hat side of things, um, what we have in the back end there is we have a back end to um, some project we call DogTag, which is the Red Hat Certificate Server system. Uh, which also has a component in there that does uh, secret storage. Um, and so in the past, that, that thing had been used to store uh, private keys and so on in the government settings and so on and so forth, and we've extended that to store things like symmetric keys and other kinds of credentials and stuff as well, too. Um, so I'm originally from the certificates of the group, so I did, did that initial um, uh, addition to 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 the certificate components, and then wrote the plugin on the back end side to Um So for this next cycle, um, what I plan to do is to write another plugin on the back end that will allow Bobcan to talk directly to IPA instead, and use something we call the IPA Vault. Uh, that in turn will allow you to set things up using Kerberos and so on, and, and follow that same flow as we were talking about before. Um, so that's that's what I'm going to be working on, but we're also talking, there's a lot of discussion right now about possibly having Barbican as a core service rather than as an optional one, um, as a way to possibly drive more adoption, um, because there needs to be some, the, the argument is that there's, um, in all as security becomes more and more important, key management and, and uh, secret management becomes more and more important. Um, and if you have no clear way of doing things, uh, what people are going to do is that they're going to have all of their homegrown alternatives. Right? Um, and homegrown security in general is a really bad idea um, because some of them could be really good, some could be really bad. And the whole premise behind the starting up of what we can is that you have a bunch of crypto experts that get together that know how to do things right um, and that set things up accordingly. Um, so the, the premise is that as security becomes more and more important, while we can, as the project that allows you to store secrets, uh, becomes the thing that uh, becomes a core project, and therefore something that everyone can trust on, like a base service or something like that, a base project. Um, and if we decide to end up going down that road, and if and there is going to be a lot of requirements and a lot of things that need to get done to make sure that um, Balkan has the same kind of reliability and availability and so on um, as all of the other core services. Um, so if we're going down that route, then that's probably what we'll end up focusing on. Um, is that a determination that the TC would have to make? or who Ultimately, that, that would be a determination of the right. TC, right? Um, and so I know that we're planning on meeting some of the TC guys tomorrow um, to talk about what would be needed in order for that for that transition to happen, uh, and whether it makes sense for us to go in that direction or not. Uh, ultimately, even if we don't go in that direction, there will be things that will come out of that meeting, uh, things like gate requirements and testing requirements and so on. But there are a number of projects that have integrated with Balbican, um, and we're in the process of helping them set up gates and so on so that we know that we don't break anyone and vice versa. Um, and um, I imagine that that will be part of the whole process as well, too. Um, so it'll be a lot of work if we actually end up doing something like that. But. Uh